so I'm literally having a life crisis right now but here I am <laughs> okay so I dropped one piece a while back on episode 16. It was so dull and I wasn't really interested in Usopp as a character. Like he is so jarring. Like how is he some of y'all's faves? Disgraceful. I was bored and the animation really didn't help but so far I've been getting back into it and it's been great. I must say I wasn't going to do another video until I finished the East Blue Saga, but some people told me it's better if I do uh, a video arc by arc, so here we are. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Nezu, also known as Madara's Daughter, and before I continue talking about my One Piece journey, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up, and also let me know where you're at in your One Piece journey. So. I've currently finished the Syrup Village arc and the Baritie arc. Um, so I've seen Zora's backstory, met Sanji, seen his backstory, um, met new villains like Don Krieg and Hawkeye, who I'm not really sure if it's a villain or not. And I've met new characters, Chef Zeph and Jin. Met some other chefs, but I didn't really bother learning their names because why the hell you got 20 mother in a kitchen all cooking at the same time of course you're gonna have fights in the kitchen like be for real um but anyway so syrup village really could have been two to three episodes if we're really being real i don't think emphasis needed to be put on coral as a villain like as a villain he wasn't really that interesting to me at all like i think bug the clown was way more interesting i think he had way more substance way more swag he got way more maidens i just think he was a what, better put together villain i feel like i didn't really learn much from the characters either in this arc all i got from it was that usopp is a liar so i'm guessing his nose is like a reference to pinocchio but his lying is like a trauma response to his dad leaving and his mom passing away which and I also heard that Usopp's black. So that doesn't really help. Do better, Oda. From what I remember, the gang pull up here to Syrup Village on their little ass boat and they meet Usopp and he has like a rich girl he's interested in and he's she's like interested in him. Her butler, Kuro, is trying to off her because he was trying to get that insurance money. I mean, I don't really blame him because you're in this tiny village with a big ass mansion and everyone else is living in the hood the whole place is a hood and you're in this big ass mansion i do the same thing kura did the fuck so kura is also a captain of some cat pirate crew at this point the gang do what they do best like luffy and zoro are basically fighting uh nami is out here stealing some treasure and usopp is just being useless um luffy obviously beats kuro yada 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 usopp's backstory was glossed over and for an anime with a thousand plus episodes i'm expecting characters backstories to be an entire arc like Oda couldn't even give Usopp his 15 minutes. So Usopp is skilled as a shooter. He's very precise. He didn't really do much in my opinion. He was just a burden more than anything, honestly. And I don't know why this man was even written in the first place, but I think at this point there isn't much to One Piece. So hopefully he grows on me later on down the line. But right now, it's a bit of a burden and I don't like that. Moving on from Syrup Village, we get to see small Zoro who is super cute, by the way. Oh my God. I did like the backstory, but I think it was a little bit lazy. Oh my God, there's this girl who's stronger than me and I want to train more than everyone so I can beat her and she dies, so I'll never beat her. And I must continue on her journey to be the strongest swordsman there is. And I just feel like that was a bit lazy i feel like there could be more but then again this is shonen and i'll always eat up that shit i also think the way oda offed her was kind of terrible it could have been extremely emotional had i known more about girly like how do you attempt to build emotional connection that quick with a character that i barely know like, if they off her right now i'd be crying her being the strongest swordsman but dying by slipping on some steps was kind of like you know because i don't really remember her name I remember Ace's name and I don't even know who Ace is. And it's kind of mad because it feels like she plays a major part in Zora's backstory. But then again, I'm on like episode 30. So 
there might be more to the story. Okay, so Baristie arc. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. This is where we meet Smooth Sanji. I actually really like this arc, but then again, why are the fights so damn long? Like on top of having three minutes of openings and recap, then three minutes of ending and upcoming episodes. The fights are so long and the episodes are so short. I don't get it. Anyway, Sanji is a chef on this boat restaurant, ship restaurant, and the gang pull up on this restaurant because Usopp's rich girlfriend gave them a whole ass ship. I can't even get text back and she gave this mother a ship. As we start off, this restaurant is like super fancy, I guess. It has like marines and the government and rich people coming to eat in the middle of the sea. In comes this dude named Jin. He comes out of nowhere and he's like, I'm hungry as f you better feed me. Everyone around was like, yeah, f you, but it's like, you're a shit person and your crew is shit and we don't like your crew, we don't f with your crew. And I thought dude was gonna die, like from starvation. And this made me actually like One Piece a little bit more because it just showed a real human thing that happens every single day like yeah superpowers sometimes but people really be dying because they're hungry sanji gives this man some food and he's like i know how it feels like to be hungry he goes back tells his boss they feeding the niggas <laughs> and then the crew pulls up and we get to see big man Krieg and he's hungry and Sanji's like okay I'm gonna feed you and the chefs are like nah leave him he's a dead like dead blah, blah Sanji feeds him anyway and then he pulls a whole 180 and he's like see what you just did for me yeah you're gonna do it again but a hundred times more bro they just fed you and you're gonna do them like that anyway long story short Zeph feeds them and Krieg's like okay I'm gonna take over the restaurant because my ship is busted and then he just begins to fight, which is kind of crazy because like they really just fed you. Yeah, and also we get to see Zoro have a fight with another villain. He beats Zoro's ass. Like I never really thought I would see Zoro lose a fight, but I guess that is part of his character development. Um, I just thought that fight was a little random. It just came out of nowhere because I thought Don Krieg was going to be the main villain of this arc because Hawkeye just comes, slices up Zoro and then leaves. Like what? But yeah, I actually did enjoy this arc in particular. I like the fights. I like seeing Sanji in action. Usopp, of course, is useless once again. And Nami, like, wh what was that actually? What was up with Nami? Like, how are you going to steal the gang's mode of transportation? Like, I'm pretty sure there were mini boats on that ship that she could have left behind for them. Or she could have taken one of the mini boat for herself. I like Kree as a villain. Not really my favorite, but he was enjoyable. He definitely is more of a talker than anything. I really wish I saw more of Hawkeye because he was interesting and I feel like he would have been a better villain than Kree. But then again, with the way everything is coming together, I feel like we'll see him later down the line because at this point he's he's Zoro's up and he whooped Zoro's ass so we're definitely gonna see him again. Syrup arc 4 out of 10, Baris TA arc 7 out of 10. Next arc is the Arlong Park arc and I'm guessing this is like the Nami retrieval arc and the gang basically go and save her which then bring her back. I guess. But yeah, that's it really. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is just my opinions anyway. I'll make another video when I finish the Arlong arc. Um, right now I just have more questions than anything, but I am enjoying the One Piece ride so far. I wish the animation was a bit better, but there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to reiterate, I do like the characters, honestly. I just don't care for Usopp that much. Just hoping he'll grow on me maybe we'll see so yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching so please be sure to subscribe and like this video and also let me know what you think so far if i missed out anything because i feel like i did miss out like some important bits but if i miss out anything let me know um also let me know if you started one piece if you're like in the same boat as me but yeah that's all for now thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video